Hello everyone. Today we are discussing about the question of shares and dividends that which is the best investment among these three. The first is rupees 100, 14% dividend at par. The second is rupees 20, 15% dividend at 5 premium. And third investment is rupees 150, 12% dividend at 30 discount. As I already told you, at par means that the rupees 100 share a person can purchase in rupees 100. While in case of B, rupees 100 share is at 5 premium. That means the company will pay the dividend on rupees 100, but the company will give the share for rupees 25. They will charge 5 rupees premium for their goodwill. It means that the rupees 20 share will be purchased at rupees 25 by the shareholder. While in the third case, it is rupees 150, 12% dividend at 30 discount. That means the share of rupees 150 will be purchased by the shareholder for rupees 120. That means 150 minus 30. Here it is 20 plus while when we are talking about at par, it means the rupees 100 share will be purchased by the shareholder for rupees 100 itself. Now when we talk about the best investment, it means we are looking for with the kind of investment, with the kind of equal invest investment, who will get the best dividend. Now, if we will talk about the first person, he is getting 14% dividend on rupees 100. That means in case of the first, the shareholder is getting rupees 14, which is 14% 14 of 100 as the dividend. In case of B, the total amount which shareholder is receiving as a dividend is rupees 3 which is basically 15% of rupees 20 the company value while in case of c the total dividend is rupees 18 that is 12% of the company value that is rupees 150 now we are very clear that the shareholder A will invest rupees 100 and get back rupees 14 as the dividend in one year. So when we talk about A, the investment is rupees 100 and the return or the dividend he is getting is rupees 14. In case of B, the investment becomes rupees 25 because he is buying the share at rupees 5 premium the return is rupees 3 as we already discussed in case of c the investment is rupees 120 while the return is rupees 18 now as we can see that the maximum return is by c but definitely he is investing more money, he will get more return. So we cannot justify the investment on the basis of money which we get in the, as a dividend. But we have to see that what kind of rate or what is the percentage of dividend we are receiving. So A is receiving 14 upon the investment that is rupees 100 multiplied by 100 that is 14%. B is receiving the dividend of rupees 3 on the investment of rupees 25 multiply by 100 to change it into to percentage so it is 12 percent while C is getting a dividend of rupees 18 on the investment of rupees 120 multiply by 100 that is 15 percent now when we talk about the percentage, so C's investment is the best investment, then is the investment of A and then is the investment of B. We have to look for the percentage of return 
not the amount which he gets in return because the investments are different. So the percentage is the most important criteria for the investment. So when we talk about which is the best investment, so we can say that in case of C, it is the best investment. Thank you.